Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri, and I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know why February the 2nd is referred to as Candlemas Day? In order to understand this, it's important to go back into our scriptural roots to try to figure out what was being celebrated on February the 2nd. Of course, we all know that in the United States, February the 2nd refers to Groundhog Day. But in our tradition, uh, February the 2nd has many layers of meaning and interpretation with regards to the various events that occurred supposedly on that day. In Jewish tradition from the Gospel of Luke, uh, we hear that uh, on the 40th day after the birth of Jesus, uh, Mary and Joseph presented him to God in the temple. This was in response to Jewish law and regulation that said that the firstborn child, usually a male child, the firstborn child was to be offered to God in the temple 40 days after his birth because that child belonged to God, according to the Exodus experience where God redeemed the firstborn. Uh, and now it belonged to God and had to be redeemed back from God to belong to the human family. And so he was presented to God in the temple and the sacrifice was offered in the child's name. Uh, at the very same time, the purification of Mary occurred because Mary, 40 days after a male child was born, the mother was to be purified in the temple as well. Now, according to Luke, when they went to the temple, uh, they met two people there who had been waiting for the birth of the Messiah. One was an old man named Simeon, and the other one, an older woman called Anna. Uh, and the feast took on significance such an extent that it became known as the Feast of St. Simeon, the day in which the feast, uh, the uh, February 2nd became the Feast of St. Simeon. Why? Because it got associated with what he said to Mary and to uh, Joseph uh, at the birth of the child, or the uh, uh, recognition of the child. And here's what St. Simeon said. Now, Master, you, can, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and a glory for your people Israel. And therefore, because of the light focus and the, the finally seeing uh, the child that was, to be the, prom that was the promised Messiah, um, the church took this, this February the 2nd as the feast in order to celebrate also the light that came into the world, which was Christ. And therefore, candles were lit and processions took place on this day to celebrate the festival of lights that was associated with Christmas and to bring it to a sort of a closure. Uh, and therefore, the tradition of blessing candles on this day also occurred, uh, that candles that would be used as light throughout the entire liturgical year of the church. Um, and so, as a result, <coughs> February the 2nd uh, became associated with three different religious traditions. The presentation of Jesus in the temple 40 days after his birth, which would in the West became, began to be celebrated on December the 25th, uh, the purification of Mary, uh, and then finally uh, the procession of candles, or, the, or what comes to be known as the Candlemas Day. Uh, uh, so the first time that we ever hear of the presentation uh, of uh, the celebration of February 2nd, the presentation of Jesus in the temple, is from a, a diary by, kept by a woman called Egeria, who traveled to the Holy Land and kept a diary, in roughly in the year 381 to 384. And here's what she says with regards to the feast. On the 40th day after Epiphany, uh, this special feast is celebrated. On this day, they assemble in the Anastasis, the Church of the um, the uh, the Church of Jesus uh, Death and Resurrection. Everyone gathers, and things are done with the same solemnity as at the Feast of Easter. All the presbyters preach, then the bishop, and they interpret the passages from the Gospel about Joseph and Mary taking the Lord to the temple, about Simeon and the prophetess Anna, daughter of Phanuel, seeing the Lord and what they said to him, and about the sacrifice offered by his parents. So that was the first 
uh, the first time that we have the uh, celebration of this feast actually recorded for us, and the church has continued to celebrate February the 2nd as the time in which the Lord was presented into the temple, and uh, Simeon and Anna both praised him as the one who was the promised Messiah who was to come. And the Festival of Lights was celebrated in such a way that we still continue to bless candles on February the 2nd and to use them liturgically in all of our celebrations. Um, in different countries, this feast is celebrated in many different ways. Primarily, it brings closure to the Christmas season. The Christmas crush is put away on this day in many countries. And in Mexico, a major celebration uh, is, is done in uh, connecting to the Epiphany, where the child Jesus is dressed up in fine clothes, and tamales and various other foods are used for family celebrations. So I hope this has helped to at least to bring some sort of understanding to why the feast of February 2nd is called Candlemas, and that I hope that you'll return again to many more Do You Know questions to grow in our knowledge of our own faith, our tradition, and our relationship to God. Thank you very much.